week, Friday. We went to the gym and now we're headed to dinner. We're gonna get... Condado. We gotta go there for the uh, nacho, or not nacho, queso. queso and chips. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm from Fairview Park, Ohio. I went to St. Ed's in Lakewood, Ohio. It's a private school. I played baseball, soccer, basketball there, and then I also kicked for the football team one year and I won a state championship. So that was an interesting and fun time. Um, I then decided to play college soccer. I got a scholarship to the University of Finley to play soccer. I went there, then I ended up transferring home. Um, was gonna play at Cleveland State, but I'm absolutely hated Cleveland State going there as a school So I ended up transferring to Baldwin Wallace where I then played soccer there at BW um, And then in at BW I got a degree in marketing a double degree in marketing and Management and I also have a minor in finance I didn't play soccer my last year in college um, I decided to play cornhole <laughs> And that's how I ended up on ESPN with Anthony Kissel in the uh, college doubles finals. Um, we took second. We lost a close one. We lost in rounders though, so we didn't even, the other team didn't even get to 21, which sucked. So we only lost by like five. Um, and then after that, my cornhole career has taken off. A lot of you are probably wondering how I started cornhole. So here's the story. Uh, my buddy and I that I used to live with, we're just looking for something to do on the weekend on a Saturday. Um, we ended up coming across a taco festival. Yes, I love tacos. Um, but the taco festival was at a casino at the horse, uh, like the horse race track too. So we were like, oh, that'll be a fun time. So we ended up going and saw a cornhole tournament that was being ran by Dave Weiser. Um, we, did, we did pretty good for our first time. We got our butts kicked at the end though. But Dave Weiser was like, hey, you're pretty good. You should uh, come join Cleveland Cornhole. So right after that, um, I joined Cleveland Cornhole. I played in the league with my dad. I played in the league with Nicole also. And then ever since then, it's just moved our way up, um, playing Division One, winning in the competitive regionals, and now I play pro. So that's how I got started. <laughs> adrenaline rush are you okay girl I'm literally wearing the same thing I wore yesterday hang on we need to have a talk that was bad you be nice to your sisters to your doggy sisters we know they're big and scary it's so funny because the cat that hates the dogs the most Medusa loves humans the most and would never ever do anything to a human, smack them, bite them, anything. But Bonnie, the one that would smack the crap, like whoosh, we call her guard kitty um, for a reason, gives the dogs more of a chance than Medusa does. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Just like our vodka soda. We're going bowling. Timmy and I used to go bowling all the time. We would go to Buckeye Lanes in North Olmstead. That was our spot. Heck yeah. And we used to sneak in alcohol because we weren't old enough to buy alcohol. Yes. But um, the, the drinks are really cheap there. So it was our favorite when we turned 21. And yes, we did Uber. Oh yeah, we didn't drive. <laughs> so tonight we're going to- Yorktown Lanes in Parma. Woo! I suck. We're getting some late night, sh you know what, sheets. Late night sheets. I got Arizona, I haven't ever been. Self checkout on sheets now, they don't even check us out anymore. <laughs> yeah, look at this, everybody. Spending $900 filling up the car out there right now. We shouldn't have to make life decisions at the gas pump. No, I don't want to remember this. <laughs> I wanted to eat rice and beef for br or breakfast. Well, 
it's not breakfast, it's almost noon. And Nicole was trying to tell me I could only eat the eggs that she made three, four days ago. And I don't want them. So I ate rice and beef. Body. Hi, cutie. Take her pre-workout and Nicole made me switch cups because, you know, gotta have that specific cup or she won't drink it. One scoop, boom, of fucked up LFG. Burn. We get the, um, the berry one. Oh, Razzle Dazzle it's called. Give me the Razzle Dazzle. That's what pre-workout looks like inside. All right, everybody. We ate our lunch slash breakfast. I just let Audie outside. Now we're gonna get ready to go to the gym. And look at Audie just relaxing outside. See her soaking up the sun. She's gonna be very disappointed when I come out there and tell her she's gotta go in her crate. So, it's gotta be a good day. Time to do abs. We just did chest and back today. We're both tired and dead. It's very hot in the gym today too, so got a good sweat going. We completed our workout. Now we're gonna go get some protein packers from Pulp. Whew. I know people normally do chest and biceps or chest and tries, but we've been switching it up because um, of cornhole. So tries and buys affect the throw the most just because of how sore you get. And obviously you have to use your arm to throw a cornhole bag. If we're gonna have a tournament that weekend, we try to do buys and tries at the beginning of the week yeah. just so we're not as sore for right. the weekend. We try to do tries and buys as far away from the tournament as we can possibly do it, basically. We have arrived at Pole. <laughs> Airwolf hat and Airwolf sticker. Use code TJ Cornell. BCAs. We're just gonna chill for a little bit. Hey. Yeah, college game day basketball on the TV, cornhole on the phone. That's what it always is. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's time to shower. Okay. Good time to shower. Mwah. I know. All right, it's just you and me, guys. I changed. Okay, so we're making a quick pit stop at Edgewater Park, and I'm gonna show you guys the Cleveland sign. It's really pretty. You can see the city, they have playgrounds for kids. And there's actually a beach and um, there's a dog side and a non-dog side. I don't know what that is, but it looks artsy. Okay, um, I'm at Lakewood Park. Normally the parking lot is filled. Like you normally struggle to find a parking spot here, but um, there's nobody here today, and it's because it's so cold outside, but it's okay, we're still gonna do it. This place is like one of the most peaceful spots. It's just nice to come sit here and listen to the water, and obviously you can watch the sunset. Um, Timmy and I used to come here all the time when we lived in North Olmsted and we would bring dinner or come and walk the dogs here so this is definitely a place to come look at if you're ever in the Cleveland area and you want to explore a little bit. 
it. They have a nice walking trail and um, I've actually seen people get married here. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Let's go. I was ordering pizza and I accidentally scheduled it for tomorrow at 11 a.m. instead of tonight at 11. About to get a fresh ass pizza in the morning. That's all I know. We're turning our living room into a sleepover area for for us and the dogs. Audie. Hey Nate. Athena kicks you off. There's room by my feet. Today is the day. Weigh in day. <laughs> I didn't know we were telling each other our weights in the group chat, so. Yeah, Dan we started did. it all hot this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the most weight. Nope. <laughs> After today, I'm gonna be the healthiest I ever been. I'm gonna eat nothing. And I'm gonna lose weight. We do have a pizza being delivered soon. <laughs> but after today, no more. Good morning! Uh, oh boy! Good morning! Pizza's here. They gave us a lot of marinara sauce, which neither of us use. <laughs> I'm ready for the gym. I don't even have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1.25. We're getting our day started. <laughs> Finally got the pull up. I forgot a ponytail, so. Gotta get hydrated before we do this killer ab workout because we know I need it. Light beer. 